guys, welcome back to another PDHP lesson. This term we will sketch a look at fundamental movement skills. Now fundamental movement skills are those skills that allow us to play in all different types of sports, playground games and small sided games. So it's really important that we learn how to develop our fundamental movement skills to allow us to play in all those types of games. Now the first fundamental movement skill that we'll be working on is the catch. Now the catch is a really important one because it's involved in so many different sports, small sided games and playground games. Things such as cricket, netball, rugby league, rugby union, AFL, and then even things at school such as just kicking around a ball or playing handball. Now it's really important that we look at how to prepare for the catch to be able to do it the best that we can. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get our body in our preparation phase. And to do that, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are facing the way that the ball is going to come. So once we are facing the way the ball is going to come, we're gonna look at our feet. And now our feet should be also pointing out the direction. And they should be about shoulder width apart. From there, I wanna also make sure that my knees have a slight bend in them. And then we're gonna to start to talk about our hands. Now our hands are key because our hands are where the ball's gonna to come to. So when we have our, we, to get our hands ready, what we're going to do is we're gonna cup them like we're holding a large bowl filled up to the top and we don't wanna spill any, so we don't want any gaps in there either. Then also with our hands and our arms, we're gonna have a slight bend in them. And that's just gonna allow us to absorb the force as well. And most importantly, we're gonna make sure that our eyes are looking directly at the direction the ball's coming from and following and tracing the ball as it comes. So when you're looking from the side, you'll notice that slight bend in the knees as well as a slight bend in the elbows. And we're going to trace the ball from there. And that's going to allow us to give us our best chance of catching the ball. Okay, let's now let's put our skills into action now. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and catch the ball. And if we get a good delivery in the pass, it means that we won't have to move. So knees bent, arms bent, hands together, keeping the eye on the ball. And when you're catching it, absorbing the force. Unfortunately, not every single time that we get thrown a ball, it's going to be a perfect pass. And sometimes we're going to have to move. So it's really important that if the ball doesn't come directly to us, that we step towards the ball, keeping all those things that we learned before. Knees bent, arms bent, hands together, but stepping towards the ball. So let's practice that one now. Stepping towards the ball as we get the catch. You have it. Now put those skills into action. Some good ways to practice is just with a brother or sister, mum or dad at home, just practicing the, the catch with somebody else. You can make it a bit harder by changing the type of ball, a cricket ball, tennis ball, basketball, netball, rugby league ball. Now another good game or activity to do is starting with one ball and with a partner. If you make a su successful catch, take one step back and then eventually you and your partner will start to bridge back further and further apart, making that catch a little bit harder. If you do make a poor catch or make a dropped catch, you take a step forward. So it's a good challenge to work on the catch, but st stick around and follow the YouTube page because we're going to be putting up some more challenges, some more uh, weekly videos up during remote learning.